Nevin, what's up, Jay? With respect to our diagnostic training last week, you said that my expenses are really high, 2050. They're higher than I expected them to be, sir. Yes. Would it be wise to buy out the furniture rather than rent it at this point? I did chat with the furniture company before I rented and told them I would be buying them out in the future. Um, let me put it this way. At 2050, you are higher than, no, no, not higher. Well, you're higher than my Long Beach by far, by about three, three hundred dollars, and you're about two hundred dollars less than my Costa Mesa. So understand, I'm out here in California. Now, granted, you have a two bedroom and I have one bedrooms, but I, that's what's going through my head. Rent, um, um, what was I going to say? So maybe the issue isn't anything other than the fact that you have a two bedroom and you actually need a one bedroom. That could be part of it. And the other thing is renting furniture is an excellent strategy for stretching cash as far as possible, which is what all of us should be doing right now, especially because I am now receiving confirmation from the marketplace that the type of lending that we're going to need is going to be there. And when I say type of lending so that everybody hears me clearly, I have said phase one, go get one unit. Phase two, go get more. When you're in phase two, this is when it's really important to start focusing on those owner-controlled buildings that you can negotiate a first right of refusal on so that later you can go back and buy them. And when you go back to buy them, you're going to need financing of some kind. So unless you plan on raising it, doing a PPM or something more, more creative, you're likely going to go to a lender. And what we've what we would need as we follow this model is a lender who would go, hey, I see you've operated this building for 12 months. And because you have operated this building for 12 months, I'm willing to count your numbers, not market rent, your numbers. And I'm going to base my loan, my debt service coverage ratio on your numbers. And that's what you're after, my friends, period, bar none point blank that's what it comes down to and that type of lending i've now gotten confirmation from the marketplace that it's coming to market there used to be only two-year loans available but now uh well i know one guy who will do a 30 okay one but they're the first one there will be more and if you're following the system those same buildings you're operating in you're going to be able to own them uh you're going to be able to own them you're going to have the cash flow to pay the mortgage and then some Okay, you're gonna have the cash flow to pay the mortgage. And if you've been building your profit account, you're gonna have the cash flow for the down payment they're gonna ask for as well. So it, it, all of it is designed to put you in a position to own the building over time. I'm saying all this to say, you rent to get the footprint. Huh, that rhymed. <laughs> you rent to get the footprint, and then later you, you go back to buy, okay? You go back to buy. And if you execute the strategy, um, you'll be in a perfect position to do all of those things. So there, there is a time where buying out the furniture lease does make sense. Um, but it's usually after you've, you've spent your initial cash and you can now buy out the leases from operational cash flow. That's usually when I've seen it work. So you, you, your initial stash of cash you put into getting as many units as possible and that's why you're renting. And then when you have enough units, you take the cash flow from those units to buy out the lease and that just, again, increases your return. That's basically what happens. If you like information like this, go ahead and hit that like button because that tells YouTube that more entrepreneurs see us and definitely hit the subscribe button notification bell so that the next time we publish more quality content like this, you can be a part. Thanks.